Hi guys, I'm Sonal and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing the quick and simple recipes that I made this week. Of course keto because almost everything on this channel is keto. So these are uh, quick recipes that you can make and also they are not the run of the mill recipes. They look a little better than normal and let's go ahead and see how I make them. The first one which is a frittata to which I have added some sausage, cheese, broccoli and you can add all kinds of things to it and even put it under the broiler which would make it nice and delicious from top. Unfortunately, I did not record that. So here I'm making a salad of three boiled eggs and I'm using a bowl that I've already used. And I've added one tablespoon of mayonnaise to it, one teaspoon of onions, one teaspoon of tomatoes, one cucumber, salt, and some coriander leaves. You can add any vegetables that you like. I also added some feta cheese and mixed all of this together and put some spiced toasted nuts. I made a video about this in my shorts, so you can go and check that out. Now I'm going to do a full tandoori chicken so here I have yogurt to which I've added all these spices there is salt pepper turmeric powder chili powder garam masala cumin seed powder and coriander seed powder and I'm mixing all of this together you can also add ginger garlic paste I just didn't have and I didn't add it and which is fine so this is my chicken, it's about 800 grams, it's not a large chicken and I'm making cuts into this so that it cooks evenly and also the marinade goes inside and it's easier to flavor it. I'm making these deep cuts which is what is done a lot of times in India and I'm putting the masala or the flavorings on it and I'm gonna let it sit for maybe half an hour or so. Now I'm putting it on a baking tray and I've also put a few bell peppers because I'm roasting them to take off the peels and you'll see why. So here in my multi pot I have some onions, I've added some tomatoes, of course there's olive oil. About one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, I'm mixing all of this together and then I've added turmeric chili powder, garam masala and now I'm adding the chicken and I'm mixing this up then I've added the salt. I'm going to fry it a little bit or you can say saute it a little bit. I'm adding about one teaspoon of salt here. I'm going to take out the chicken breasts because we don't want to overcook them. They tend to get tough. So I've left the rest of the pieces in, put some water and I'm going to cook it on pressure cook for about five minutes or so. And a lot of times I see people cooking this for like 20 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes. I do not understand why, but the chicken that I buy, it really cooks very quickly and I don't want to overcook it. Now I've opened my pressure cooker, I've added my chicken breast back and I'm putting some spinach into this, almost like a sag chicken or a spinach chicken, but not exactly. And I'm adding some coconut milk to give it that creaminess because everything tastes good with coconut milk and fresh cream. So let's go to the next recipe in which I'm going to fry some sardines. So this is about half a kg of sardines some salt, ginger garlic paste, turmeric and chili powder. I'm just mixing all of this together first and then I'm gonna apply it to the sardines as good as you can. But trust me, if you put sardines in oil on a pan, they are delicious the way they are. And I love sardines or any bony and fatty fishes. So I love mackerel, sardines, I love tuna, um, I love salmon. So, but if you don't like these, you can use any other fish and you can use the same flavorings or the masala or the spices. So I've laid them on the pan so that I can arrange the most number of sardines. And this is a cast iron pan, so it doesn't cool down with a lot more food but if you're using an aluminium pan or a non-stick pan it will tend to cool down and the food will leave out some water so that's the reason you know this is working well now i have it fried i've just fried it on both sides you want to actually leave it on a low flame because as it dries up the flavors concentrate and it tastes much better especially when it comes to sardines because it has a lot of its own oils now here I have the bell peppers which I have de-seeded and taken the peels off and I'm arranging them in this beautiful plate and this is some more nuts and I'm going to eat this with sardines. I'm topping all of this with olive oil, you can add loads of olive oil, it's good for you. And this is one of the meals and then the rest of these I have just 
mixed and matched sometimes i even add a few more ingredients to give it a different taste because i don't normally like repeating the flavors so here i'm making meatballs 750 grams chicken mince ginger garlic paste and some green onions and fish sauce about a teaspoon or so 3/4 teaspoon of salt and i'm going to mix all of this really well together so as you keep mixing the protein develops and it gets sticky so you don't need any binding agent in this i am still going to add one egg white to this and here is my egg white i'm adding that and just going to mix it for a little more time again i'm setting the egg yolk aside which i'm going to use later because i never waste anything and i think it's criminal to waste any part of the egg anyway so here i have in a pot some oil and some red curry paste and i'm also adding some coconut cream to this we are going to fry this till the oil separates and i'll show you what that means all of the water from the coconut cream is going to dry off and then you'll see this consistency to which i'm adding the mince you know if you were a little more patient you could make balls out of it i'm just using a spoon to put it into the pot i put some onions some chopped kale salt this is a few more meat balls and i've added water to this some fresh cream and then it's a good idea to always give it a taste here are some french beans because i wanted to add some more vegetables some more coconut milk and give it a taste if you need a little more creaminess add some fresh cream like i've added and the dish is ready now i'm topping this off with the egg yolk that we have left over if you don't like eating raw egg yolk you can just put it in the curry itself while it's boiling here is one of my favorite ways to make a protein shake and i don't have it on a daily basis but one of those days when you're feeling hot and you want something really cold this works well so this is one avocado into a blender one tablespoon of almond butter it's like a treat because you don't ideally want to have a protein powder if you can eat protein i have added 3 drops of iodine some stevia one scoop of the protein powder i have also added cacao powder and some water depending on how much you want and you can add ice to this i haven't added that and here is our smoothie ready and it's delicious i love it there are a lot of days that you don't feel like having a heavy meal nice and cool protein shake really is such a wonderful treat